All right, folks, this is Harris Sultan, the ex-Muslim atheist, and welcome to another episode of Sultan's House of Sin. Right. All right, human being is back. Yes, sir. First of all, let me make some few points. You are tired. I know that. So oh, don't give me that. so much time. Again, uh, that's that's our goal to show the Quran. We were discussing about two verses, right? Uh, about uh, chapter 9, verse 73. Look at the danger of this verse. The West should know. That's why I came in English channels. So English people should know how dangerous these verses are. Okay, let's have a look. So chapter 9, verse 73. I'm sharing the screen with you guys now. So let's have a look. What's what's so dangerous about that, you Islamophobe? Oh, prophet, strive hard against the unbelievers and the hypocrites and be firm against them. Their abode is hell, an evil refuge indeed. <laughs> right. So, so scared, this scared one is everybody. So this verse is so dangerous. Like we are disbelievers, Christians are disbelievers. So this applies to everybody. Yeah, and I do. Our yes. abode is hell. We are even with you know the, uh, our abode. We, we are going to be living in hell, which is an evil refuge indeed for everyone, unbelievers and the hypocrites. You know the people say, um, the modern Muslims like the you know Hamza Ali Abbasi and all that. They say, well, you know this unbeliever is. Um, is is the wrong translation? You know, the kafar. You might have heard the kafar is. It shouldn't be unbeliever. It should be the one who denies the truth. So after knowing knowingly denying truth, so he says, Harris and atheists and those who genuinely don't believe in God because they think because they don't know the truth, then they they it's not for them. So this is a new interesting mental gymnastic. But you know, like but I'm like, okay, in that case, oh, we don't have to worry about believing in Islam anyway because you know, what's the point of finding the truth and putting all these terms and conditions on us and then you know not being able to enjoy life i mean right now i don't know the truth so i'm not going to go to hell but why should i find the truth so then i have to pray five times you know uh, yeah well actually that's pretty much it or fast <laughs> you i mean muslims get more sex than us anyway <laughs> but i do remember you give absolutely stunning logic that time with hamza i do remember your logic that if I show you the water and convince you this is the water, according to that previous mullah H2O, why would you deny it? That's lo that's your logic. Yeah, to, to yeah I, I mean, I, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I, I remember that argument now. I don't remember saying, giving that to him, but it, it's something that I would say. that. Uh, and I said, there, there is no point when you find out the truth, there, there, there's no point to deny it. There's, you just can't deny it. I mean, if you know that there is a God, no matter how bad and evil he is, you can't deny it. You'll be like, okay, well, now, you know, we have a crazy Roman emperor on us, Caligula or Nero or something. And then we're like, okay, well, you know, he's evil. He's, he's crazy, but I'm just going to obey him because I have no other choice. Otherwise, I'll be cut up and tortured. And the last verse, just last verse, chapter 9, verse 29. Just West should know these danger of verses. That's our jihad. What's the, what's the one? What, what is it called? What chapter Chapter verse? 9, verse 29. And, oh, yeah, that's my favorite one. It's already in my history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is... This, this is um, yeah, I so fight against such of those who have been given the scripture as believe not in Allah nor the last day and forbid not that which Allah hath forbidden by his messenger and follow not the religion of truth until they pay the tribute readily being brought law, which means basically to fight those people who have been given the scripture, but they don't believe in God and the final day like muhammad is teaching them so um so basically this is sp specifically for christians and jews because they've been given the scripture but they don't believe like um like uh, uh muhammad is teaching so follow not the religion of so they don't follow the religion of truth um, until they pay the tribute so so fight them until they don't follow the religion so meaning they become muslims or until they pay tribute so, um, which is called jizya, being brought low. Uh, this one is uh, jizya here. So, uh, which is tribute. So, um, so if you want to stay a a Christian or a Jew, you have to pay jizya, or otherwise you can become Muslim. 
Yeah, and so some- that's why that's why a lot of people actually became Muslims as well. Because why would you pay extra tax? I mean, it's like a ransom. And it's yeah. again, these verses are forceful. And that's West should know these verses and Muslims follow that verses. I think um, I will let you go. Be too thank late. You. But I have a question. Maybe I can ask you next week. All it's right. Up thank to you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, that's it. Thank you. I got to wrap okay, it up. Sir. Thank you. Take it easy. Stay- thank you. Thank you. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.